Today's adventure takes us to Everglades National Park where it's just outside of Miami. You can stargaze and avoid all city light pollution. Um, we're at the entrance, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we continue the video, I want to show you guys a little bit of perspective as to where I am. Uh, the entrance is around here. So you can see Homestead is up here. And Flamingo, which is probably the best place you can stargaze from, is all the way down here. So it's about a 45 minute drive. Uh, from the entrance to there and depending on where you're coming from it could be a lot longer So plan at least an hour hour and a half worth of driving depending where you're at in Miami-Dade or if you're in Broward even longer um, So take that into account um, when you're tracking where the moon is and I'll go into more of it later in the video I'm here in the Everglades and I picked a spot on the side to take pictures and show you guys exactly how I get the pictures that I get um, Especially with the Milky Way core and getting just everything tack sharp but first, hopefully I'm able to capture what light pollution looks like out here because I can still kind of see the lights from Homestead. You're going to want to make sure there's no clouds, no moon. Make sure that if you're in a humid place like this, you wear uh, mosquito repellent, bug repellent, or just come on a cool night. It's still like upper 50s, low 60s, and I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes. So unless it's absolutely freezing or whatever, these mosquitoes are unpredictable in the Everglades. Wear some kind of repellent, long sleeves, uh, long pants and just be prepared for the elements. One of the apps that I use is called Skyview. It's free and it lets you basically use your phone's camera to look around you and see where the stars are, where the planets are, and most importantly, where the moon is. So when you hover over the moon, you can actually see its trajectory and where it's gonna set, when it's gonna set, and that way we, you could plan your night and go after it sets. Because when it's out, it's just as bad as light pollution from a city. I promise you, it's gonna be worthless coming out here to do that. Um, so download the app. It's free. Link is in the description. I'm getting attacked right now because I didn't put any spray. I thought, hey, cold means no mosquitoes. I was wrong. So come prepared and check on the weather, the moon, clouds, those three things, and you'll be good to go. I had to get my phone out so I could show you exactly what I'm doing. So for your aperture, you want to bring it down to as wide as possible. For my lens, it's 1.8. Um, the ISO, you want to bring, you don't want to bring it too high because you're going to introduce noise into your photo, but kind of experiment more or less on what your camera does and how high it'll go before it starts messing up your photo. Shutter speed is key here. You're going to want a long exposure, so you're going to want to do, this takes practice, so you're going to want to experiment depending on your lens on uh, which length you want. So we're going to do 15 seconds right now. Let's aim a little higher because I think it's capturing the trees here. So you're going to want to do manual focus as well. This is how you're going to get the stars in focus. Find some stars and then manually focus it. Most likely it's going to be infinity. See, make sure they look small. You see how that one on the top, this one right here, looks really big. There you go. Let it get tiny, and then you'll know it's in focus. It's gonna be really hard to focus out here, especially with nothing, you know, to look at. So just pick the brightest star and go from there. And you're gonna to wanna to do a timer or get a wireless remote so you can trigger the shutter. For now, we don't really need it, and I'm just doing this to experiment. So let's take the photo. Now let me show you with the same exact settings I shot directly behind me, how it would look when you take it, um, Aiming at light pollution, this is exactly why you need to drive as far away from the lights uh, to get your good star photos. All right, let's review it. Completely blown up, look at that. Of course your settings should be different if you're aiming anywhere that's bright like that, but just an example. The same exact settings for the outcome uh, behind me and this is aiming at the city, so. All right, so you see over there how the light is reflecting off the clouds. I know it's having trouble focusing when there's no clouds at all which is the ideal time to go um there's no uh there's no clouds for it to reflect any light so it'll be total darkness that way or at least very dark and then as you pan this way i'm panning south so your screen should be black uh, with the exception of a few stars that's exactly how the south is supposed to look where you can see stars tack sharp i am literally getting attacked by mosquitoes so i'm gonna head into my car and get the fuck out of here Mosquitoes are fucking with this. There's no way out of these. Driving with the windows down and 
going fast, I guess. That's the way to get it out. I see it. It's all the way over there. You see it? It's right here. On the ceiling? Right there. Oh. Oh.